Hi there, my name is Noah Yaosi. I'm excited to present to you our capstone project. We are the Live Alls team. I'll give you a quick introduction to our team here. Hey, my name is Cameron Steensma, and I was in charge of the back end development and user authentication. Hi, my name is Emmanuel Beer, and I am the founder as well as the designer of our application's 3D graphics. Hi, my name is Joe Elston, and I was responsible for the back end and database. So yeah, as I said, my name is Noah Yaosi. I was in charge of mobile infrastructure for our application, and I'm also going to be narrating and giving you uh, our presentation for this video. Quick introduction to our project. Uh, as the name kind of implies, we made a live wallpaper application. Specifically, we made an Android application that uses physics simulations to create live wallpapers for your Android device. Kind of the goal of this project was to encourage creativity and the exploration of math and physics through our wallpaper designer and editor. We were able to do this by creating a 3D graphics engine on Android that runs on the GPU that will seamlessly integrate with Android OS. Kind of the usefulness and the whole point of this project, there's not really any apps out there for Android devices that let you make live wallpapers. There's some like preset recorded wallpapers for newer devices, but they're not customizable and you can't really make your own. So we set out to make this application such that you could make your own and customize your own wallpaper for your Android device. We wanted you, the user, to have limitless configurations and complete creative freedom. Um, we also wanted these wallpapers to be interactive with device sensors so that it wasn't just a boring picture or like a looped recording. You could also have fun with these wallpapers while the app is not open, just on the home screen of your phone or even the lock screen without unlocking your phone. Uh, we also wanted these wallpapers to be customizable in such a way that we could save these customizations and you could create as many different configurations as you want. Most of us will go through multiple different wallpapers as time goes on. We like to change what we're looking at on our phone, be it preference or just a new spice to our life. We wanted this ability without losing our old wallpapers. We also wanted the ability to use 3D graphics to give a bit of depth to your phone. And for the more technical individuals, we wanted to add a graphing functionality so that the mathematically inclined could have more advanced control over the simulation while everyone else has more simple controls and doesn't need to research in depth to create a cool wallpaper. I've kind of briefly listed some of the key functions, but as a direct overview, this is a Android live wallpaper application with interaction through device accelerometer and gyroscope. That means flinging your phone around and the movement that it does there, as well as the rotation of your phone. Uh, we also integrated a key simulations as a sort of base for creating these interactive wallpapers. These included celestial mechanics and Eulerian fluid and naive fluid simulations. We also included a implicit graphing function as well as the ability to save these wallpapers both locally on your device and have those wallpapers synchronized with your account on our server so that if you switch devices, then the wallpapers you'd made on one device will be synced up with the wallpapers on another device. Uh, now I'll give you kind of a brief demo of our project. Here we can open the app and you'll be on the Explorer page. From here we can open the toolbar and open the video editor as you can see here. This is where you have all your toggles to customize the simulations. You can see we just switched from the baseline simulation to the naive fluid. I'm messing around with the little uh, toggles here. I'm going to change the background color. See I want a solid color instead of that uh, gradient. And you can see here I'm swinging the phone around. Can't quite see it. But that's what's causing all this movement with the little fluid simulation there. If I increase these different toggles, it'll have different behaviors like this. We'll make it start spinning around really fast. If I increase gravity, it'll all drop to the bottom. Um, I can also open up this different fluid simulation that just uses particles instead of like a liquid substance. Uh, you can see here it's also kind of fun just sitting around in the box. All the movement again is me flicking my phone around and that responding to the tilt or the flick of my phone. I can switch over here to the sphere. Uh, this one is, yeah, it's just like a sphere floating in space. We have a Mandelbrot built in, so you can look at this fractal right here. If you get the field of view and distance just right, you can see through the sphere and you can see like the reflections from the Mandelbrot as well as it does a little bit of ray tracing behind the scenes. Just kind of playing around with this. Uh, 
when you finally got a simulation that you like, you can go to your home screen, open your wallpaper settings, go to more wallpapers, and at the very bottom there's live wallpapers, and that'll be the active wallpaper from the application. So here we've set the live wallpaper back on the home screen. There it is. We've got a live wallpaper. And I'm tipping my phone around right now. That's all movement is just rotating my phone to get the different perspectives. We can go back in here. We can change up the wallpaper. Say I want to do a custom graph now. You can see the equation editor. Uh, it's switching through the defaults that I'm selecting. I can go and change some of the toggles for the view. And once that's done, I can go to our profile here and create a new wallpaper. The new wallpaper button was in the bottom left. When it does that, it opens up this default celestial mechanics simulation and switches over to that. We can adjust these toggles here, change whatever we want. Then if we go back to the profile, we can hit activate on another wallpaper and it'll switch. This is one of the presets that I've made before the video. If I try to delete that, it'll say, hey, it's your active wallpaper. You can't delete that. So we can switch this other wallpaper. It'll open up the editor. We can look in here. We can hide the controls to get a better view of this whole thing. Go back to the profile. We can remove that preset We can try and log in. Uh, we can create a user here. I'll create just a default new user with a default password and email. Got to make sure that there's a valid email here. I'll create the user by registering. Then when I go to log in, I'll initially intentionally do the wrong password to show you what happens. When you can't sign in quite right, you'll get a little notification. Then I'll fix the password, we'll log in, and it syncs up, and there's our new user. And go ahead and change my profile picture too. That goes with the user account on the server, make it look special. And then the final page here is the help page. This contains some clips of just how to do exactly what I showed you. Now that the demo is done, I'll list some of the key technologies that we use to make this possible. There was a lot going on in this app because making this not only work, but also as efficient as possible was quite the challenge. For the simulations, we use C++ for the memory efficiency as well as the speed and optimization capabilities. And then the rendering, we used OpenGL. This allowed us to run these simulations on the GPU in terms of hardware, which on mobile devices is far more efficient than the CPU. The efficiency is key because obviously a live wallpaper, you would think that all these big terms, physics simulations, the animations, hardware interactions is going to be super draining on the battery. But because everything is run on the GPU, it actually is very efficient and barely changes battery life. As far as Android development, we chose to use Kotlin over Java or other languages. This was because Kotlin is a very robust and modern language. And it's also rumored to be cross compatible with the Android compiler in the future with other operating systems, potentially such as iOS. We don't know that this would ever make it to iOS because as far as we know, iOS doesn't support OpenGL and the graphics rendering that we utilized, but it would be nice to have this on iPhone. So we use Kotlin for the potential future of including this on iOS. We used Firebase for profile authentication and user authentication. Obviously we have a user database and we don't want users to be able to log into someone else's account and go mess with their wallpapers. We want only you to have access to your wallpapers on our server. Speaking of our server, our server was a MySQL AWS RDS server, which in layman's terms, it's a server run on the Amazon host AWS. It's a MySQL RDS server. It holds all of your data in a secure format such that if you create an account and you choose to sync your wallpapers to our server, it will save those wallpapers in a secure and memorable format. And yeah, that was our project. I hope you really enjoyed listening to us. If you have any further questions, you are welcome to visit our project page. Uh, I'll give some quick acknowledgements before I leave you here. We utilize SEMU skills, C++ matrix and vector library in our simulation code. He is a professor at the University of Utah and we really appreciate the library that he created. It was super helpful in making this happen. We also used code from 10 minute physics for the simulations listed on screen. We have a YouTube link here for the actual video we referenced. We'd also like to give a special thanks to our professors and TAs this semester. And yeah, thank you for watching.